Hello everyone, this is the tutorial for all my broken pieces. My name is Billy from Piano and Pies, let's get stuck straight in. So in order to play this the easiest way along with the track, we need to detune our guitars. Now I am going to play in standard tuning, um, but if you want to play along with the track, what you need to do is drop every string down half a step. So the E string would become an E flat, the A string would become an A flat, the D string would become a D flat, the G would become a G flat, the B would become a B flat, and the E would become an E flat. So everything just down half a step. However, like I said, I'm gonna keep it in standard tuning and I'm gonna play it that way. So these chords will clash, but like I said, drop it um, and you'll be absolutely fine. So we have an introduction which starts with D minor, which is open D string, two on the G string, three on the B string, and a one on the high E string. Now I'm going to talk about strumming and whatnot in just a moment. Let's get through the chords of the intro first. We then have a C major chord, which is three on the A string, two on the D, zero on the G, one on a B, and an open E string. We then have a couple more chords, a G major chord. Now I'm going to use this fingering for it. Uh, ring finger on three on the E string, middle finger two on the A string, zero, 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 and a three on the high E string. The reason why I'm using that finger is that my pointy finger is now free to play the next chord, a G sus4, where I add my pointy finger onto the B string fret one. And then it will resolve back to the G after that, so use that voicing, it really helps. So let's talk through how we play the introduction now that we know the chords. So we have a D minor to C, and we jump early to the C. One, two, three, four. You can see I pushed early with that C chord. One, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. And I push early for that G sus four. One, two, three, four. I then go back to D minor and C. And then a regular G major chord that will get you through the introduction. Now that part is looped around two times before it leads into the next part of the song. The pre-chorus takes some more chords and starts strumming with them. We have C major, G, A minor, D major. So C and G we've already played. Let's look at A minor, which is an open A string, two two on the D and G, one on the B and an open E string, followed by a D major chord. Really lovely chord in this context, which is an open D string, two on the G, three on the B, two on the high E, and there's D major. So we go from C to G, A minor to D major. Now it's worth mentioning that this song has quite a lot of chords. You're about to notice that in the chorus. So if you're interested in getting the chord chart for this, as well as the chords in the lyrics matched up, then head on over to Patreon. There's a link in the description for that. Uh, just for a couple of dollars, you can get uh, all everything right out professionally or properly. So yeah, feel free to do that. And it saves you from writing out and potentially making a mistake. Into the chorus, we have an F major chord. To a C major chord. Now this is the first time we've seen F and the version of F that we're going to play is the kind of smaller non-bar chord version, which is three on the D string, two on the G, one, one on the B and E string. And strumming wise, we have one, two, three, four, and, or down, 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 up. Then I have a C major chord, which is down, up, down, 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 up. So we'll put that together. G major, A, G. So you can see up to now there's already lots of chords. It carries on, we have F major, C major, A minor to G. And if we repeat that twice, we get most of the chorus, there's a little bit more. So it might be worth getting the <laughs> Patreon um, downloads. So let's go over the chorus one more time with the extra part that I haven't mentioned. So we have F, C, G to A minor, F, C, A minor to G. That would happen twice before D minor, C, G. 
and that is the end of the chorus. So we start getting a bit of repetition. Looking over to my notes, we have a second verse, which is exactly the same as the start of the song. We then have a pre-chorus. Thankfully, that's the same. So that's C, G, A minor, and D. We then have a chorus. Now, this chorus is almost exactly the same as the previous chorus. At the end of the first chorus, we played D minor, C, and G. We did that once. The second chorus repeats those three chords a second time at the end of the chorus. We then get to a bridge section. The bridge section is different. We have A minor to F, C, A minor, and D. So that is the bridge section. We then have another chorus, which thankfully is the same as the second chorus. Before we have an outro, now the outro is different again. We have um, some new chords going on, and the new chord is a B flat major chord. Now the best way to play it is a bar chord, which is a little bit tricky. What we can do is play one on the B string, three, three, three on the following three strings, and then a one on the high E. Going to F, and then C major. So we have B flat, F, and C. So the key of the song's changed a bit here to incorporate this B flat chord. And we're gonna loop around those chords as an outro six times. Five times normally, this last time is a little bit more gentle. The instrumentation drops out and it's just the guitar line. So if you loop around those, that will get you to the end of the song. So if you are interested in getting the chord charts and the chords and the lyrics that match up, then like I said, head on over to Patreon. There's a link in the description and yeah, saves you the hassle of writing it out. So thank you very much for watching. I'd like to say thanks to the people on the screen. Those are my active patrons. They support me every month and they will get this download straight away when I release this video. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.